Okay, hey you guys, I have another message. This is a channel message. And what I keep hearing is the city is on fire and the people are in denial. It's a Drake line. And they key and they just, you know, that just keep coming. It keep coming. So we're going to see what spirit has to say about that, okay? The city is on fire and the people are in denial. Let's see. Yahweh, what do you want us to know? Okay, so. So people in the city needs to um, learn something new, study, pick up a study, partnership with the sun here and get justice within their life because there's a lot of conflicting energy, there's a lot of battles, there's just a lot of not so good energy going on amongst people and everybody are fighting each other and then all of these people are wearing black so it's dark so people need to learn more about the most high yahweh and connect and study and learn that's who they need to team up with here and then it's the three of pentacles they need to know about Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua, the Messiah. He is that lighthouse. In the Two of Cups, there's a lighthouse in the background. He is that water. And people could be, things could be drying up for people in their lives and things of that nature. So he is that water. And, you know, he wants to, you know, fill your cup up. Okay, so things can be drying up for, you know, a lot of people, spiritually, emotionally, physically. Some people need to get in that water so that they can have peace, love, and joy within their lives and get justice and balance within their life. Okay. So the will of fortune can change from all of this yucky energy. Yeah, people holding on to people, people holding on to people and materials, but they not holding on to the sun, which the sun will bring them justice within their lives. They not holding on to peace, love, joy. But they're holding on to, and you see the city in the background. They're holding on to things. People are holding their self back. And they feel like these things you know, and because this person got on the coat, these things is, you know, keeping them warm and keeping them good. They got a pinnacle on the top of the head, pinnacle on the chest, pinnacle on the feet. But it's not. It's only four pinnacles. So that's a delusion that you okay. The sun and justice, every time I shuffle, it keep being right on the top. I'm going to, I'm going to put these right here. The justice and the sun. Okay. The most high has love that he wants to give. Love that he wants to teach. Seeds that he wants to grow and water so that they can grow.
He want people to know about them. Okay, and that takes going back to the beginning of things here. We have the Adam and Eve here on the lover's card. And then the angelic being is right over top of them. He wants to guide you, lead you, give you love. But you have to follow your inner guide and follow your inner man. Yeah, he wants to plant that seed in for you to grow. Wants to water you, water that garden. Wants you to work hard towards your partnership with the Most High and it will pay off. That hard work will pay off so that you can persevere. Knight of Pentacles. He wants you to take action towards this commitment with him, Four of Wands, to have eternal life, the world. Look, these five cards right here. He wants to give you inner strength. He wants commitment here for you to have eternal life with him. For you to have authority in your life so that you can have new passionate beginnings with the higher font here with the most high Yahweh he wants to give you the keys a lot of people are suffering heartbreak and loss Okay. And it could be breaking the most high's heart too because he's called on many people and they fail to listen or fail to answer the call. And a lot of people are suffering here. And this is the truth. Ace of Swords, this is the clarity. A lot of people have anxiety and worry and things of that nature. But what about hope and faith? So unexpected events could occur because that's how he, how else can he get your attention? So we have the tower. It's time for people to get back and having that hope and having that faith and having that connection, that true connection with the Most High Yahweh. So he can give you love. An abundance of love, blessings overflowing, so that you can awaken emotionally, awaken spiritually, because you're not awake. So that you can have the victory and balance between the light and the dark within your life, the chariot, so that you can push on and keep going and keep riding through this journey, but not so heavenly burdened. We have the will of fortune so that you can have eternal life with him. Ace of Cups, will of fortune. So that you can persevere. Knight of Wands. So that you can be free. Six of Swords. So that you can have healing. And spiritual guidance. Hangman. So that you can be enlightened. And have hope and faith. Five cards. Spirit. Yet again. So that you can have the victory within your life. Yahweh wants to bring you victory. And lighten your burdens. Because you're going to have them. We're here to learn and grow. But they won't be so heavy. A lot of people is carrying the weight of the world on their shoulders. And that's not what it's meant for. The Six of Wands was on the top. He wants to lead you. A lot of people are blind to the fact of that. Blind to the fact that they're not awoke. A lot of people are just worried about petty gossip and petty things. But it's time to get inspired about the word and about the most high. People are blind and don't know it, can't see. Six of Cups, he wants to reconcile. 
with his children. Six of Cups. He wants to celebrate with you all. Three of Cups. So take the leap of faith. Take that leap of faith. You're being called. Page of Wands. He wants to gift you. Balance. Empress. Nurture you. Give you that motherly loving. The emperor and the empress. He wants to be your mother and father. Give you a strong foundation. Stability. Abundance. And prosperity. He doesn't want you left out in the cold. Attacked and going through battles all alone. This is where you all now. Where you all are now. He wants you to have the things of your heart and the desires of your heart and the wishes granted. Nine of Cups. He wants you to heal and receive spiritual guidance from him. We got Yahweh right here at the top, the Hierophant. I'm actually going to pull a sword of truth here. It's not to harm you. It's for you to gain an understanding. Nothing to harm you, but to give you hope. And then we have Archangel Michael is with you now. Even though you can't see, I am actively working on this situation and I am here helping. So he's always there to help. Recognize the signs from above because you all are ignoring them. Angels are sending you messages now, but you're too distracted to notice. Stay alert and open to divine guidance. We have here, yes, you are correct, okay? Listen to the inner guide. What I am telling you is correct. Listen to your inner guide. Make a wise choice so you can keep moving forward. I'm coming too. I'm coming. We have here, stay the course. Don't panic. So don't be afraid. Don't panic. You're not on the wrong path. Nothing happens for no reason. These things are occurring so that you can get, uh, you know, you're learning. And so that you can get closer. Okay. You may have a bumpy start. That's fine. Keep going. Okay. You learn from your experience. Keep going. Your prayers are being answered. Your prayers are being received by the divine. Answers will soon come, although perhaps in forms that you didn't expect. Okay, it's time for your vibrations to rise so that you can evolve and get on the frequency here. We're in the age of grace, the spiritual age. You want to move with the divine, not stay stagnant here. Can we get a grateful heart message, please? Yahweh will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Yahshua the Messiah. And we have here, I have loved you even as the Father has loved me. Remain in my love. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For Yahweh will be with you wherever you go. So you all don't have to be afraid here. We have here, draw near to Yahweh and he'll draw near to you. Our lives are in Yahweh's hands and he keeps our feet from stumbling. In him, my heart trusts and I am helped. My heart exalts and with my song, I give thanks to him. Careful for nothing, prayerful for everything and thankful for anything. Yahweh has done great things for us and we are filled with joy. Commit to Yahweh whatever you do and your plans will succeed. And then we have here, in all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. So I hope you all got a message from this read that will be able to help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you and I'll see you all later. Peace.